Catherine. Um, today I was going to vlog, but um, as you can kind of see, Bentley looks a little bit sick, so he's very clingy. So I figured um, today wouldn't be the best day to vlog, but I'm also going to be cooking a really good crock pot recipe that I was going to share with you guys. It's chicken and gravy, which sounds super simple, but when it's cooking all day and you put it over rice or noodles or whatever, it's just, it makes it 10 times better and the perfect day because Bentley's sick and it's kind of chilly outside and Jerry's at work. So when he works the weekends, I try to make something that will last for two days. But yeah, so I figured I would show you guys, Bentley, I figured I would show you guys my easy chicken and gravy recipe and yeah. So here we go. You'll need three chicken breasts, black pepper, garlic powder, one can of cream of chicken soup, two packs of chicken gravy, and two cups of water. To start off, you're gonna sprinkle black pepper and garlic powder on your three chicken breasts. Remember that the chicken gravy and the cream of chicken soup already has salt in it, so I would just do a light sprinkle over top of it so it's not overloaded with salt. After you sprinkle the pepper and garlic powder on the chicken, you're going to pour all the rest of the ingredients in your crock pot. Once you've added everything to the crock pot, you're gonna whisk it all together, making sure that it's completely smooth and there's no lumps from the chicken gravy or anything like that. Now you just add the chicken to the chicken gravy mixture. I usually will get a spoon and just make sure all the chicken is covered up with the mixture. Just get a good little layer over top of it. And I will put it on low for about six to eight hours. Okay, now that your chicken's been cooking for about eight hours, I will take the lid off and stir it up a little bit and then just shred the chicken. Um, a lot of people use two forks, but I like to use a mixer. It just seems to be a lot faster and easier for me, but you can do it any way that you would like. And there you have it, an easy crock pot chicken and gravy recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you tried this recipe and if you liked it or your thoughts on it, anything like that. I will talk to you guys next time and thank you for watching. Bye.